The Hot 96 News Now. XIBC Commissioner Gulia claims plot to change results. Court okays DPP application to drop charges against Senator F. X. Boss. And robbery with violin suspect arrested in Lake Pico. With Teddy Otieno. Good morning. The four dissenting IBC commissioners were in favor of Azimio leader Rilo Dinga. Former IBC commissioner Professor Abdi Gulia has claimed. Appearing before the Justice Agri Muchalule Led Tribunal, Gulia added that the Charera 4 had a plan of forcing a runoff. So, in the results you are given, who was the winner? William Ruto. Right. Yes. And then after that result was seen, what is this debate that you talked about in your affidavit? Yes, the debate was that the results was not to the expectation of the the other colleagues of ours who had taken a position that the visiting NSAG members had suggested. Uh, so you are saying part of you had expectations? Yes, part and of us had expectations, I believe. part include uh, Commissioner Irene Masit? Yeah. And what was that expectation? The expectation, of course, was a particular candidate other than Ruto to win. What yes. was this particular one that they wanted? The, the runner-up candidate as per the final results. That's Honorable Raila Raila Odinga. Odinga. The hearing comes as suspended IBC Commissioner Irene Masit faces the Justice Agri Muchalulele Tribunal probing her conduct in the August 9 poll. So what was then this debate about? So the debate now was uh, having seen the final results and having seen the margin of the results was close. Close in the sense that we had almost 233,211 votes difference between the winner and the runner-up. And so the debate was that uh, these results are too close. Can we uh, force a runoff? That was the debate. So what you are saying is that the Commissioner Aydin Masit and others wanted you to, to moderate sap the change. will of the people. Yes, and change the results. Yes. In the corridors of justice, the magistrate's court has allowed an application to have. Charges against former NHIF boss Geoffrey Mwangi dropped. The court noted that sufficient grounds have been provided to allow the case against the second accused be discharged. Meanwhile, prosecution has been given 25 days to review the file and come up with a way forward. Lawyer Steve Ogola said there are chances of dropping charges against 17 accused persons following a review process. The purpose of this ruling was to evaluate whether that termination would also extend to the other accused persons the charge sheet has 18 accused persons. So one has left. So three left. There are 20, 21 accused persons. Three left. Directors of Jumbo Pay and Jumbo Pay. Then we remained with 18. And now one has left. So what the court has directed is that um, based on the DPP's own application, that they need 15 days to review the entire file. Well, and finally, police in Nyahururu, Naikipe County, are holding a robbery with violent suspect. According to police, the suspect was arrested by detectives in Nyahururu town with crude weapons believed to be used by the suspect recovered. Detectives grew suspicious after spotting a vehicle that they later discovered had an extra pair of plate numbers. A search is underway for his accomplices. These